Okay, so right now I'm cooking chicken noodle soup provided by my high school wrestling coach and his wife, Dorothy and Gary Mayab, for my son because they sent it to him because he had uh, surgery on his meniscus. And no. And it was a second surgery, and it's been super tough. Being able to watch him compete since he was five years old and wrestle all winter long and do amazing things, he's always, always surpassed my expectations. He's always amazed me. It's, it's never ceased to amaze me what he can do on the mat. And to have that taken away from us this season has been kind of heartbreaking. You know, we've had to really dig deep and, and look towards the future and and have try and have perspective. And I've talked to people like uh, Elijah Bears, David's high school wrestling coach, my high school workout partner, talked to Coach Mayab, I've talked to a lot of close friends in the wrestling community, and it's, uh, you know, no, no matter how you slice it, it's tough. It's tough when you have a kid that has that much talent, have it taken away from him, and we tore it the first time, and we did everything that we thought we possibly could to get it healed right, and it just, uh, it just, it just tore again, so... Uh, we're trying to to be thankful and, and grateful for all the other things that we have still in our life. And I think that David has been extremely mature in this whole process. And I'm probably more bummed than he is now. That's, I don't know, that's negotiable. But man, it's, it's, it's like a hole just ripped out of your heart. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not death. You know, but it's like the death of the season. It's it's something that's just gone. You, you, you're, we're not going to get this back. But what's keeping us sane a little bit is knowing his potential in the future. And knowing that if we do this right and we heal it up, and if it takes, then he's going to be able to do tremendous things. And... We're just going to have to do other things this season to keep his head in the game. He's going to have to develop himself as a coach. He's going to have to develop himself uh, as a thinking warrior. He's going to have to build his upper body and and uh, just become hungry, become thankful for the, the sport of wrestling and not take it for granted. And hopefully this can be something that pushes him further than even he would have ever gone in the in the in the past uh so it's this is kind of a little bit of a journal um my wife and i have cried many times we have become uh, extremely emotional about seeing him in surgery again seeing him on crutches seeing him in pain seeing all of his teammates be able to go out there on the mat and compete it's been extremely emotional, but this chicken soup is just kind of a metaphor for the support that we get for uh, from our community, and uh, that that's what wrestling's all about. More than anything, it's it's the relationships, it's the people, it's the love, it's the emotions, it's the the camaraderie, the just uh, intangibles that that you can't replicate. Uh, no matter how hard you try. So anyway, we're going to come back strong as ever. I'm going to try and become a, a better father because of this, a better coach. Uh, it's been tough because I've <laughs> I felt sorry for myself and I've had to put myself in check and think, hey man, this is, it's not about you, it's about your kid, but deep down, it when you see all the Facebook posts, when you see all the the rankings come out and your kid's Talk, being talked about as being a sophomore and potentially having a, a run for the title and and you know he, he's not even going to be able to do that he's not even, he's not even going to be able to step out on the mat that is tough 
but it's only a sophomore year. We have a couple more years down the road. We have a couple of off seasons. And hopefully we can get him ready for college and hopefully he can do some great things in college still. Um, I, I, it's not the end. It's just it's just a kind of the middle of his career. The the from five to fifteen has been ten years. Hopefully he gets another good ten years after this. And this little bump right here is just uh, the the beginning of another chapter that's going to propel him to greatness. Uh, that's all I got. Over and out.